In a medieval village, where whispers of magic wove through the air, there stood a tavern unlike any other. At its heart was a cheerful young boy named Felix, with starry eyes and an insatiable curiosity, serving as the humble keeper of the enchanted establishment. One sunlit afternoon, the creaking wooden door swung open to reveal a diverse group of patrons. Grok, the burly orc, towered over the others, with muscles that rippled beneath his green skin. His tusks curved menacingly, but his eyes held a warmth that belied his appearance. Sparkle, the mischievous goblin, wore a mischievous grin that stretched from ear to pointed ear. His bright eyes darted around, taking in every detail with a keen curiosity. Serafina, the elegant elf, moved with a graceful fluidity. Her attire, woven from enchanted vines, mirrored the ethereal beauty of the forest she hailed from. Flint, the stout dwarf, had a beard that reached his chest, and his eyes sparkled with a mix of pride and mirth. As they settled at their favorite table, Felix approached with a gleaming smile, ready to absorb the magic woven into their tales. The enchanted tavern had a unique way of conducting business. No coins exchanged hands, only barter. Patrons paid for their meals and drinks with the treasures they had acquired on their adventures. Grok, with a voice like distant thunder, began, in a cave guarded by a fearsome serpent, I found this crystal. It captures the essence of moonlight, casting a guiding light in the darkest of nights. Sparkle, the goblin, couldn't contain his excitement. And these gems, Felix, from a hidden forest where trees whispered secrets. They reveal truths to those who seek them. Serafina, with grace befitting an elf, shared her story. This feather was a gift from a wise phoenix in the enchanted forest. It holds the power to reveal truth and guide those who are lost. Flint, the dwarf, pounded the table with pride. This pickaxe, lad, is made from the rarest metal found deep in the mines. It can break through the toughest rocks, revealing treasures hidden within. Felix listened intently absorbing the essence of their adventures. Inspired, he decided to contribute to the enchantment of the tavern, not just through tales, but through specially crafted dishes. In the bustling kitchen, Felix conjured up culinary wonders, tailoring each dish to the tastes and preferences of his extraordinary patrons. For Grok, a hearty stew infused with the essence of earthy herbs. For Sparkle, a salad adorned with gem-like fruits and drizzled with a tangy dressing. For Serafina, he crafted shimmering moonlit noodles bathed in a delicate sauce made from starlight and dewdrops, garnished with petals from rare magical blossoms she had encountered in the enchanted forest. And for Flint, a robust feast of meats and hearty vegetables. The patrons, delighted by the personalized culinary creations, exchanged their magical items for the delectable dishes served before them. The tavern, now filled not only with tales of adventure, but also with the tantalizing aromas of Felix's culinary magic, became a haven where the senses were as enchanted as the stories themselves. And so, in the heart of the medieval village, the little tavern keeper and his extraordinary patrons lived happily ever after, their lives forever entwined in the enchanting symphony of the unique barter system and the magical flavors that filled the air of the enchanted tavern. <laughs>